All right, guys, today we are back playing another round of HGTV's House Hunters Celebrity Edition. And just like the TV show, I'll be showing three homes, obviously, celebrity homes, and I'll have to decide which one I'm buying, as is, where is, I can't make any changes. Now, on today's episode, we're touring the estates of Mark Wahlberg, Ivanka Trump, and the late Tom Petty. We've got over $80 million worth of real estate we're about to see. So let's get to it. House Hunters Celebrity Edition. Here we go. First up, we have a former rapper and current actor, the world-famous Marky Mark Wahlberg's pristine $55 million Los Angeles, California estate fit for a king. Now, this home is within North Beverly Park, which is arguably the most exclusive gated community in the United States. This home is 31,000 square feet, 12 bedrooms, 20 bathrooms, and set on an incredible 6.2 acres. He's got a home theater, professional gym, wine cellar, cigar room, tasting room, manicured gardens, a five-hole golf course, driving range, sports court, resort-like grotto, skate park, and a guest house all set amidst total privacy. Essentially, this is your own private country club, but what's wild is the association dues for this neighborhood are $3,000 per month, not per year. I'll, uh, I'll give you some context. The average American's mortgage payment is around $1,500 per month, so his HOA dues alone <laughs> are double the average American's mortgage payment. That's, that's wild, but... I mean, what's not to love about it? It'll be hard for anyone to top this house. Let's, let's see if they can. Up next, we have a businesswoman, designer, and former model, Ivanka Trump's $17 million condo in Florida's hottest real estate market, Miami Beach. This six-bedroom, seven-bathroom, 7,000-square-foot unit offers distinct elegance and unparalleled privacy with an exclusive beachfront setting. This may be a condo, but it lives more like a hotel within a 24-7 full-service ultra-luxury complex. The unit has two kitchens, two spacious family rooms, two deep terraces with unobstructed views, and a two-car temperature-controlled garage making this the ideal oceanfront home amongst just 15 other residences. You also have a private staircase leading you directly to a spa, indoor pool, fitness center, yoga studio, tennis court, and all of the poolside oceanfront amenities you need. This is the premier Surfside address just moments from the beach and the famous Bal Harbor shops. I've heard the Cartier store in Bal Harbor does 20 million per year, so that tells you the caliber of neighborhood we're dealing with, but I love the idea of a Miami condo, though. It's lock and leave, maintenance free, white glove service. I don't have six acres to maintain. Just hop out of the elevator. I'm on the beach. Something to seriously consider. All right, one more to go. Last up, we have an iconic American musician, Tom Petty's former $10.25 million Malibu Beach home. It may be small, but this three-bedroom, three-bathroom bungalow is loaded with appeal. We've got an abundance of views, a cabin-like ambiance, 66 feet of beach frontage, a separate guest house, private brick patio, full with ocean view deck, and unobstructed access to Escondido Beach. This is a courtyard-style design where you're greeted at the entry with guest quarters, a beautiful rose garden patio, private outdoor space kitchen, and dining area, which then leads you to the two bedroom main home. And then from there, it's all about the ocean views. I mean, Malibu holds a special place in my heart. So anytime I have the opportunity to buy in Malibu, it's hard for me to turn that down. But is the sentimental value enough for me to pass up on the other two great options? We'll find out next. Okay, to recap, we have Mark Wahlberg's $55 million Versailles mansion, Ivanka Trump's $17 million white glove Miami condo, or Tom Petty's $10 million Malibu Beach bungalow. This is always the hard part, but I'm going to go ahead and eliminate Tom Petty's house. I could totally get myself a dog, a Malibu girlfriend, and be living happily ever after in this little lodge. But when I got the other two options, that one's got to go. Now it comes down to Beverly Hills in Miami, and I'm going to be living oceanfront in Miami. It's got the gym, the pool, the beach, the tennis court, and everything else I need. Plus, they're maintaining all for me. So I'm moving to Florida. I will see you all on South Beach. Hit the like, subscribe. Call me Mr. 305. Dale. Bye.